In this video, I'll be looking at 2.1 solving quadratic equations. 2.1 represents chapter 2, section 1 of the Pearson A level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. I'm going to start off this section by explaining what a quadratic equation is. A quadratic equation is an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero where a b and c are constants a is not equal to zero now we can solve a quadratic equation by factorizing using the quadratic formula or by completing the square so number one you can solve by factorizing number two you can solve by using the quadratic formula number three you can solve by completing the square completing the square will be covered in section 2.2 Here are some examples. Example number one, solve the following quadratic equations by factorizing. So we have one and two. Let's start off with one. x squared equal 25x. The very first step is to take everything to the left hand side, giving us x squared minus 25x is equal to zero. The next step is to factorize the left hand side. So we can take out the highest common factor between these two terms, which is x. In brackets, we have x minus 25 equal to 0. So there are two solutions. The first solution is x equal to 0. The second solution is the solution to the equation x minus 25 equal to 0, giving us x equal 25. So the two solutions to this particular equation is x equals 0 and x equals 25. Let's move on to the second equation. 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 equal to 0. The first step is to state the constants a, b and c. a is equal to 6, b is equal to minus 7, c is equal to minus 3. The next step is to work out a, c. So AC is equal to A multiplied by C, 6 multiplied by minus 3, which is equal to minus 18. Now, we need two numbers that multiply together to give us AC, which is minus 18, and add together to give us B, which is minus 7. So what are these two numbers? Well, it is just minus 9 and 2. Minus 9 multiplied by 2 is minus 18. Minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7. So we're going to use these two numbers to split the minus 7x. Okay, so I have 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 equal to 0. We can split the minus 7x into minus 9x plus 2x. We have 6x squared and minus 3 equal to 0. The next step is to factorize two components. This is the first component, this is the second component. Let's start off with the first component. The highest common factor between these two terms is 3x. In brackets, 2x minus 3. Let's factorize the second component. The highest common factor between these two terms is just 1. So we put 1 in brackets 2x minus 3 equal to 0. The common factor between these two terms is 2x minus 3. So the first bracket will consist of 2x minus 3. The second bracket will just be 3x plus 1 equal to 0. So now, we need to solve two equations. 
the first bracket equal to 0 and the second bracket equal to 0. The solution to this equation is x equal 3 over 2. The solution to this equation is x equal minus 1 over 3. So the quadratic equation 6x squared minus 7x minus 3 equal to 0 has two solutions and they are x equal 3 over 2 and x equal minus 1 over 3. Not all quadratic equations have two solutions. The way we work out how many solutions a quadratic equation has is by looking at something called the discriminant. I'll be covering the discriminant in section 2.5. Example number 2. Solve the following quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. Leave your answer in exact form. Okay, so we've got 1 and 2. Now, a lot of students use the quadratic formula and then they would just round the answer. You can't do that in this particular case. You will lose marks. You need to keep your answer in exact form. That is square root form. Let's start off with the first question. So we have x squared minus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. The very first step is to write down the constants a, b and c. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, c is equal to minus 2. Now we need to write down the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula states that the solution to x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac. All over 2a. Now the b squared minus 4ac has a special name. It is called the discriminant, which I'll be covering in section 2.5. So now we need to substitute our values for a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. So I have x equal minus, minus 3 in brackets, plus or minus square root b squared, which is minus 3 squared, minus 4 in brackets a, which is 1, in brackets c, which is minus 2, all over 2 in brackets a, which is 1. So now I just clean this up. I simplify to get the result 3 plus or minus square root 17 all over 2. So there are two solutions. The first solution is x equals 3 plus square root 17 over 2. The second solution is x equals 3 minus square root 17 over 2. Now, I would like you all to try the second question yourself once you're done, the answer will come up on the board. So you should all have x equal 4 plus or minus square root 32 all over 8. The first solution is x equal 4 plus square root 32 all over 8. The second solution is x equal 4 minus square root 32 all over 8. Moving on to example number 3. Solve the following equations. We have 1 and 2. Note that in this particular question, you are not told to use a specific method to solve the equations. So it's up to you what method you use. Let's start off with the first equation. I'm going to solve it by making x the subject. First of all, I take the plus or minus square root of 11. On the left hand side, I would have 3x minus 1. In general, if you have an even power applied to the bracket on the left hand side, you must take the plus or minus on the right hand side. For example, if there was a power 4 applied to this bracket, you would take the plus or minus 4 through of 11. If there was a power 6 applied to this bracket, you would take the plus or minus a sixth root of 11, and so on. However, if you have an odd power applied to the bracket on the left hand side, you only take the plus. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and make x the subject. The next step is to write 3x is equal to plus or minus square root 11 plus 1. Now we can divide both sides by 3 to give us x is equal plus or minus square root 11 plus 1 all over 3. We can swap these two terms and rewrite the answer as x equal 1 plus or minus square root 11 over 3. These two answers are equivalent. Moving on to the second equation, 
5x plus 3 is equal to square root 3x plus 7. I'm going to solve this equation by first getting rid of the square root on the right hand side. How do I do this? Well, I need to apply power 2 on both sides. So if I apply power 2 on the right hand side, that will get rid of the square root, giving me 3x plus 7. If I apply power 2 on the left hand side, I will just have 5x plus 3 in brackets squared, which is equivalent to writing 5x plus 3 in brackets, 5x plus 3 in brackets. The next step is to expand the double bracket. So now I'm going to expand. I get 25x squared plus 15x plus 15x plus 9 is equal to 3x plus 7. 15x plus 15x is 30x plus 9 is equal to 3x plus 7. Now I take everything to the left hand side to give me 25x squared plus 30x minus 3x is plus 27x plus 9 minus 7 is plus 2 equal to 0. Right, so now I can solve this quadratic equation by using the method of factorization, the quadratic formula, or by completing the square, which will be covered in section 2.2. I'm going to go ahead and solve this equation by factorizing. It's up to me. I'm not told what method to use. I can pick my method. Right, so by factorizing, what do we have to do first? Well, we need to state the constants a, b, and c. So a is equal to 25, b is equal to 27, c is equal to 2. Next up, we work out AC. A multiplied by C, 25 times 2 is 50. Now we need to find two numbers that multiply together to give us AC, which is 50, and add together to give us B, which is 27. These two numbers will be 25 and 2. 25 multiplied by 2 is 50, 25 plus 2 is 27. Now I can use the 25 and the 2 to split the 27x. So I have 25x squared plus 27x plus 2 is equal to 0. Splitting the 27x gives me 25x plus 2x. I've used these two numbers. 25x squared plus 2 equal to 0. Now I need to factorize two components. This is the first component and this is the second component. So I'm going to start off by factorizing the first component. I can take out 25x in brackets x plus 1. Let's factorize the second component. I can take out 2 in brackets x plus 1. The common factor between these two terms, ladies and gents, is x plus 1. So the first bracket will be x plus 1, and the second bracket will just be 25x plus 2 is equal to 0. I could write these uh, double brackets the other way around, it doesn't really matter. Now, I need to set the two brackets equal to 0. So the first bracket, x plus 1 equal to 0. The second bracket, 25x plus 2, equal to 0. Now I can solve these two equations. So the solution to the first equation is x equal minus 1. The solution to the second equation is x equal minus 2 over 25. So this equation has two solutions, x equal minus 1, x equal minus 2 over 25. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.